Hello everyone, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. So if you saw my last video, which was 1091, I built my first ever turbine. And obviously, we still need to mount this onto something. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I've got this, and this is an old antenna that our neighbours actually let us have. And we're not interested in any of this section, we just want this mounting arm. So let's take that off. Right, so here is the main part of my TV antenna, and this is going to be side mounted like this. So we've got this main bit sticking directly up. And obviously we need something to make sure that this is going to be pushed in the right direction of the wind. So I have drew this up. And I have to admit, this does look particularly nice. So I'm going to cut this out. Here is the fin cut out and painted and I'm just going to put this to the side until it's time to fit it. And now we can start focusing on this. And obviously we need a pivot point on this so it can change directions with the wind. And I've got one of these and this is a caster. So this gets welded onto the top of the pipe like so and then that is actually free to spin. And then we grab this bar which has two plates welded on. This goes through the middle and gets welded together and that gives us some area to fit our tail and our turbine. Right, so let's get welded. And there you have it, the swivel joint has now been attached to the mount. So now what I've got to do is actually attach the tail and the turbine and also figure out a way to mount this on its side. And there you have it, I've welded the tail on and I have to admit this works really nicely. If I just hold that, you can see that <laughs> it just swings around on its own. So now what I've got to do is attach the turbine and how I'm thinking about attaching this is making some sort of adaption plate to be welded onto the front of this and basically just gets bolted in. And once we've done that, we just got to figure out a base and we've pretty much completed this project. And there you have it, this is my little adaption so I can actually attach my turbine to this. And it's just two bits of steel welded into a T-shape like this with the holes drilled out. So this means that it just gets bolted in with some N6s. So here is what it looks like with the turbine attached and I have to admit, this looks awesome! So, I've decided to change the way on how I'm going to mount this just for demonstration purposes and that's because the TV satellite um, antenna, the mount would be really good to mount it onto an actual wall up high. And obviously I just want to stick this out in the car park so I can demonstrate it. So what I've got is this! And this is an old camera tripod but this is going to work really nicely. So I'm going to stick this together just by slotting that into there and giving, uh, tightening up this part here and we're done. So let's take this out into the car park and see how it does. Right, so we're out in the car park, let's get this thing attached. There we go, now it's starting to go. Look at that thing zip about. And there you go, you could just leave this little turbine to its own devices and it's always going to be in the right direction of the wind. And I have to admit, this thing has turned out really lovely. Look at it spin. Awesome! So now let's say you want this thing to stop spinning. All you've got to do is wait for it to slow down just a little bit, get behind it, and push it out of the wind. As you can see, it starts to slow down, and now I can actually move it again. That was an awesome result, and no matter which direction the wind was blowing, the mount was actually able to keep the turbine in the same direction to keep them blades spinning. Which is exactly what we wanted it to do. 
So I'm really, really happy with the result of this turbine mount just because it did exactly what I wanted it to do. And I'm really happy that it did just that. With that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.